Hi and welcome to part 3 of this hard surface modeling exercise. In this video we're going to finish our sci-fi floor panel by adding the details at the center. First of all I will organize my scene a little bit. I will put these bool objects in a null object and call this backup and hide it. And we can get rid of these symmetry objects here. And I will put these details into the symmetry objects and make them children of the panel base. I'll also switch off the cell renderer. And let's see, this one is floor panel, let's call this XY. And this is floor panel ZY. And this is detail number three. And I think we can switch off our floor panel and just focus on this detail for now. And the first thing I'm going to do here is select this angle at the top and I'm going to use extrude inner. And I'm going to use a slight offset. Let's make this maybe three centimeters. And that's just so we get a little bit of distance between the panel base and this detail. So we can also see that these are separate parts when we don't use a bevel deformer and render the entire panel. So there's going to be a gap in between there, which will add a little bit of detail. I'm also going to make a cut from this point all the way across to here. And let's see, I'll just select these polygons here. And these ones hit UI to invert the selection delete these polygons optimize the object and let's select this edge and move it over to zero on the z-axis and we can get rid of these two edges I think So this is detail number three, or at least the base of detail number three. I'm also going to prepare detail number four. And for detail number four, I'll just make a copy of this, call it detail four. Well, actually, first of all, we need to select this end on here. and use extrude inner again. And let's do something like this. And I'll make a cut here. And another one here. And let's dissolve this edge, delete this edge, and move this one over to zero. And then we can make a copy. And this is going to be detail number four. And on detail number four, we can delete these polygons. And I'll select this end on here and do another extrude inner. Let's again do about three centimeters and I'll make two cuts like this let's get rid of this edge 
we can also dissolve these edges ring select these polygons on the outside first of all we need to delete this edge though and move this one over to zero so let's see I should be able to ring select these maybe I'm just going to dissolve this edge first so let's try that again ring select these polygons delete them and optimize the object on detail number three we can also get rid of these polygons here so I'm going to delete those and I'm also going to dissolve these edges for now optimize the object and I'm going to switch on both of these and our detail here now let's just switch off that bevel deformer and I'll select these two edges and use axis extension to line these edges up with the bottom of our panel base so let's deal with detail number three first of all I'm going to make a couple of cuts here and here and we also need some cuts here and here and over here and now what we can do is move this polygon down a little bit now let's just switch on our floor panel And I think we can move this a little bit below that surface that looks fine you can do whatever you like best let's go back to the top view and these two areas here will be extruded down so I'm not going to move them but we need to move these polygons over here so I'm going to select them and just move these down a little bit to to about here maybe and I think I'm going to move this edge over a little bit something like this maybe and I think that's all we need for now And what I'll do next is I'll extrude these edges down and I will snap them to let's see is it this edge no it's not let's move these back up a little bit again and I'll just weld these points here and these ones select this edge this edge is at zero so I'll just select these edges and just change the height to zero to straighten these out
And next we can select these edges here. Extrude these down, move them to zero. And weld the points. And I'll just center the axis and move it over so we can mirror this object. Now we can select all of these edges. Extrude them down. move them to zero, deselect everything and optimize the object. And next I'm going to create these areas here. I'm going to ring select these edges and Use connect points edges to create an edge loop. And I'll just select these edges and maybe move these up a little bit to about here. And we can select these polygons and delete them. And I'll just create two polygons here, then just close these holes. And I'll ring select these edges and connect them. Now, well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'll just select these edges here and bevel them, but just the ones at the top. these over a little bit, move these over a little bit, and then just scale these edges. We also need edges for these cutouts and these are just square we don't need to add any roundness to the corners and that means we can ring select these edges and use edge cut let's try two subdivisions and I'm just going to scale these like so and Using the knife tool, I'm going to add edges to 
define these areas here and then we can just select the edges we just created and line these up a little bit over here and these ones go all the way to the bottom and let's go ahead and add some edges for this detail here and for this one I will create an outline so I put the edges not exactly where the detail is but I made it made a cut to the left and to the right of this area here. Now we can select these polygons. And delete them. and I'll optimize the object and then we need to extrude some of these edges down so I'll start with this one here and I'll extrude these edges down switch on snapping and snap them to here and I'll extrude them down again and just move them to zero. And over here I screwed something up. connect these points and let's get rid of these polygons select the edges here at the top and I'll extrude these down snap them to here Also going to scale them and then snap them again and let's extrude these down again snap them to this edge and extrude again and move these to zero deselect everything and optimize the object it looks like I forgot to extrude a couple of edges this one and this one extrude these down move them to zero and I'll optimize again let's 
say over here I'll start with these edges and extrude them down snap them to this edge weld this point select these edges as well extrude down again snap these to here extrude again and move these to zero and optimize the object and next I'll create some cuts to be able to add these holes in there so I'll make a cut here and one over here and I'll make another one over here and over here and I'll dissolve these two edges for now and make another cut here at the center and let's ring select all of these edges and connect them I'll put these at the center of the object and it looks like we're off a bit in the reference image but we need to keep things like this because we need to make this fit into our panel base so I think we're doing okay here I'll start with this detail here and I'll use extrude inner and let's make this a little bit smaller something like this I'm also going to scale it up a little bit to make it as long as it is in the reference image and let's extrude this down a little bit let's have another look something like this should be fine And we need to move the center down a little bit further so I'm going to ring select these edges here and let's use edge cut with two subdivisions I'll just scale these edges down I'll also select them and scale them And select these edges and move them over to about here I'm going to scale this up a little bit further and then we can extrude this down move these polygons down a little bit And it seems like these are rounded corners so I'm going to add that detail by selecting these edges and I'll add a bevel give it a couple of subdivisions make it a little bit bigger something like this and I want to get rid of the n-gons I'm going to weld these points and these ones and these ones over here and these ones over here and we could also weld the ones here at the top
and that means we can select these edges change the size to zero on the x-axis deselect and optimize and I'm also going to weld these points here select the angons and remove them and using the polygon pen I'm going to remove every other edge to turn these into quads on this one I do want to try and keep it all quads if I can We currently have five engons. Two of them are inside here. To get rid of those, I'll just connect these points. And the ones over here. And then I'll just select these edges and connect them and we can move these points down to get a proper quad here and we still have three angons we're going to take care of this one later that's the one where we need to put a hole and I removed the edges so so as to make cutting that hole into there a little bit easier let's have a look at the other one over here I'll just connect these two points to get rid of that and gone And these corners here are round corners, so I'm going to bevel these. And do something like this maybe. Deselect everything and optimize the object. And I'll select the engons over here and remove them. And this time Cinema 4D has turned these into quads, so that's good. Over here we need to continue these edges up here. So I'll just make a cut like this and I'll cut over to here. And then we can select these engons here and remove them as well and this worked fine over here but not over here I'll just select these polygons and melt them let's just delete these polygons you can see we still have an edge there I'll just delete that close that polygon hole And remove this end gun still not working the way I want it to so I'll just connect these points manually and I've just optimized the object again I'll also even out the spacing between these edges by using the even distribution script let's see over here I'll do the same thing And 
that's looking good. The only other thing we need to add is these holes here. And I'll just add a cylinder. Snap it to here and scale it down a bit. And I'll use 24 rotation segments for this. And I'll make a copy and snap it over to here. I'll make this a child of the other cylinder. And then we can put our detail 3 in a bool object and add the cylinders. create a single object and I don't think we need to hide the edges here I'll just increase the tolerance to see if I can weld these points over there I'll just try something like three no not really working so let's just use a default and deal with this areas later And I'll keep a backup copy of this. Let's go ahead and make this one editable. And delete the tags. I'll close these polygon holes. And in order to get nice looking bevels and avoid the problems that we had on the panel base, if you remember. I will select these two N-Gons and use Extrude Inner. We should fix the geometry first because something is definitely off here. Let's go ahead and weld these two points. I'll also get rid of these edges here. So let's try that again. It's still looking weird over here. I'll just remove this N-Gon and close that polygon hole again. And I know what's wrong we have a polygon inside here which we don't need so I'll remove that and close that hole again now let's select these two N-Gons I need to close this polygon hole as well let's make this an offset of two so the holes will be a little bit smaller, but it's worth it because we're going to get nice bevels. Or maybe let's bring this down to, say, 1.5. And I'm going to extrude these down a bit. Minus 10. And I'll use extrude inner again, and then I'll select each of these N-Gons, turn the N-Gon into a point selection, and I'll just weld the points. Same over here. Hold down control, left click on points to turn this into a point selection, and then I'll just weld these points. And what I'll also do is I'll use the polygon pen and if you hold down control and left click on an edge point or polygon, you can remove the edge or the point. And 
I'll do that over here to turn this into quads. So I'll just remove every other edge and I'll do the same thing here at the top. And let's see, we need to remove this edge, I think, and this one. And we're getting a triangle here. Let's undo that. And I think what I'll do to fix that here is I'll just make a cut from this point and then we can remove this edge and this one and this one and that will give us quads here and I'll just remove these two edges. So removing every other edge over here. So that's looking good. And I've just switched to polygon mode. You can see we have 638 polygons and Let's see how many of these are quads. Everything's quads. So that's really good. Back to the top view. I just want to see if I forgot anything. But I think we've added all the details and everything's quads. So that's good. And there's one more thing I want to do. And that is reduce the polygon count a little bit. And we can start in the areas where we have these extrusions down here, meaning this one and this one. And what I'll do is I'll weld these points here I'll do the same thing and now we should be able to select these edges by double clicking on them. Just deselect these ones. And these ones, and we can dissolve the other edges. And you can see this saved almost a hundred or so polygons. Let's check. We have one triangle, it seems. And this is a weird one. I'm hoping that I can just delete it. Deselect everything, optimize. And hopefully
everything's okay now. I'm just selecting these points to find out if if I have more than one point. We could also subdivide this. And the mesh looks okay, so I think we can keep that. Let's use a bevel deformer and see how the bevels work on this one. Switch on angle. I'll change the mitering to uniform. Let's give it two subdivisions. And the bevels look nice and clean as far as I can tell. Let's put this in a symmetry object, change the mirror plane. And there we go, that is our detail number three. And it's looking pretty good, I think. So let's switch off detail number three. and switch on detail number four. Here we need to remove a point. And I'll create some edges where these details are. I'll also make a cut here. And let's go ahead and bevel these with no subdivisions. And let's do an offset of 27. I'll make three more cuts here. We also need cuts here, another one here, and here. I'll put each of these details in its own area because we have round corners here and I don't want the edges to propagate to the rest of the mesh. And I'll also make two more cuts here and then I'll just select these polygons here and use extrude inner Do the same over here. And I'll scale this one down a little bit. And let's do maybe 35 by 11. And we'll make all of these the same size.
gonna I'll make a cut like this. Actually, I think I'm going to connect this to this point here. And let's connect these two points. looking good and I'll just keep connecting the geometry Actually, I think we can, no, we do need this edge here. What I will do though is I'll dissolve these edges and then I'll just make a cut straight over to here. And we need to make one more cut here. And next I'll do a quick test on one of these. What we need to do with all of these details is we need to extrude them either up or down. I'm going to extrude this one down a bit. I'll do maybe minus five. And we need to bevel the corners. And I'll use a couple of subdivisions here. something like this and let's see we're going to end up with a triangle here what if I do four subdivisions it's always going to be the same but I could bevel the edge at the center and connect these two points let's just try that I'll optimize this and I'll select this edge and bevel it again with no subdivisions and just a little bit of an offset. One, two, three, let's see, can we weld these down? And would we would get a quad here and here and here and here. One, two, three, and I can connect these points, which means I'm getting a quad here. And I think that's how we're going to do this. Otherwise, you would either have to keep the triangle that would be created here, or you would have to create edges throughout the mesh. And that is definitely not what I want. So we're going to do it like this. Just bevel this edge like before and weld these points. Let's also connect these points here. We also need to connect these ones. and the ones over here. And these ones and this one is giving us trouble. But not anymore. Select these two edges and I'm using edge cut with two subdivisions. And 
and then I'll just select these edges space these apart evenly and we should be able to weld these points and still keep everything quads let's just check by selecting these now we have three n-guns let's see where these are over here okay we can fix that so the important thing is that we don't have any n-guns here and we don't have any triangles here so we've created one of these one of these details and to be honest I don't want to have to do the same thing for all of the other ones so I'm just going to split off these polygons here, create a separate object, which I'm going to call extrusion. And I'll move the axis to here. and snap it to here let's make a copy and snap it to here and let's make another copy snap it to here and rotate it 90 degrees and I'll make another copy and snap this one to here And hopefully we can make this work. So let's select the first one we created and I just snap the points to the geometry of detail number four. And let's select detail number four. I'll select these polygons and delete them. Let's continue with this one over here. I do seem to have made these a little bit bigger than they actually are. we could make these the same width I'll just select these points here let's do 35 we shouldn't get any distortion hopefully and I'll just make all of these 35 so we get a consistent size Okay. 
and on detail number four I'm going to delete these polygons Let's use the knife tool. On these ones we need additional edges in order to be able to connect these. So I need to make a cut here and here. And then I'm going to delete these polygons here. Select all of these objects here and use connect objects and delete and optimize. And I forgot to do one thing, which is a bit unfortunate. But never mind, we'll have to do, we'll just have to do that manually. And on this extrusion here, I'm going to select these polygons and I'll just move them up because that's one of the details that is actually extruded up and not down. And let's make this an even number for the size. I'll just move the y-axis down and change the size to, let's try two. Let's see how that looks. Could be a little bit bigger. Let's do three. Three should be fine. And we have another one, this one over here. That also goes up and not down. So I'll move these polygons up grow the selection and change the size to 3. And the thing I forgot is that we have an additional detail in here. And I think I already know what I want to do. We'll just copy the extra geometry that we're creating around to the other details. So over here, I'll make two more cuts like this. Well, actually, let's do this differently. I'll just ring select the edges here and connect them. And then I'll select these edges and I'll bevel them. to about here. And now we can select these polygons and extrude them down a bit.
select these edges and bevel them. I'll do five subdivisions again. And I'm going to weld all of these points and do the same thing over here. And that means we can select these edges, change the size to zero, deselect everything and optimize the object. Connect these points. Connect these edges. Move these points down a little bit. Remove the end guns here. And then remove every other edge to get quads. And that's this detail here. And now I'm just going to select these polygons and split them off. And I'll move the object axis to here. And snap everything to here. the object axis over and then we can snap these points and we can also snap these ones select detail number four select these polygons delete them, optimize, and before I continue, I'm going to make a copy of the geometry that we split off, and I'm going to connect these two. I'll make a cut here, and we need to get rid of some of the edges here. Let's move these to zero. select all of these points here and just move them to zero on the z-axis and change the size to zero and optimize again. And I'll move this piece over to here and let's see how do we do this I think I'll just delete the points move the object axis let's move it to here
and I'll just rotate this minus 90 degrees. And snap it to here. I'll snap these points and these ones. just move this into position maybe let's try something like this no close enough I guess maybe we could move these over a little bit so something like this should be fine Let's go ahead and remove these polygons from our detail here. And I'll dissolve this edge. this one okay that should be fine and I'll just snap this point to here and this point to here and now we should be able to connect these two objects optimize Let's get rid of these edges here and hopefully that's all we need to do. I'll just put this in a subdivision surface object to check if we get any issues and it looks like everything's looking fine. So I guess we can start creating the wall on the side over here. So I'll just select all of these edges. These ones over here. And I'm going to deselect these ones. And we need to extrude these down, minus 15, using an angle. And I'll extrude these edges down and move them to zero, which is not working. I'll just optimize everything. The problem is that the axis is in the wrong place. So hopefully 
hopefully now this will work a little bit better. I'll just reselect these edges, extrude them down, move them to zero, and just create a polygon here. Optimize again. Now we still got nine n-gons. We got some of these n-gons over here. Let's fix those first. I'll use the line cut tool, make sure visible only is switched off. And I'll just cut like this. So that's six engons left. Let's see where those are. Over here, we just need to connect some points to get rid of these engons. And over here, We've got an edge over here, or that's what I thought. Select these two points here, and I'll just weld them to this one. That leaves two N-Gons. And we have two points here. I'll just weld them to this one. And it's all quads now, which is good. Just try and optimize the geometry a little bit by welding the points here and we can now dissolve these edges and I'm wondering we could also weld these points here get rid of all of these edges Connect these two and just move this point down so that will give us quads here. And let's test a bevel deformer on our object. And things are looking good except down here. And it's just because the bevel was too big. Everything else seems fine. Okay, so we should probably use a different bevel deformer for detail number four. Let's 
switch on detail number three. And that's looking good. And for detail number four, we'll also use two different symmetry objects. So let's add an additional one at the center. And I'll just put detail number four in here. And I think I'll do the same with detail number three. So we have this symmetry object. I'll just create another one. And let's switch on our floor panel. And we're pretty much done. There are a couple of things that I want to change. One thing is this detail here, and that's detail number one, if I recall correctly. And what I'm going to do with this is I'll just move the top polygons down a little bit. I'll just switch off the symmetry objects for now so I can see things a little bit better. So I'll select these top polygons and just move them down a bit. And this hopefully will help to make this detail stand out a little more. Another thing I want to do is I'll just switch everything back on. Another thing I want to do is I want to add some more geometry at the bottom of our panel base. I'm not going to create the entire bottom, which would be a waste of polygons, but I do want to be able to bevel the edges down here. So let's go ahead and select all of these edges. And let's see if I can switch that to solo mode. So these are the edges that we need. And I'm going to extrude these in a little bit. To about here, maybe. And I'll just weld the points here. I'll just undo that and go to point mode. Maybe we could also select all these points down here. Let's just make sure that we got the right ones. And I'll just scale these down to zero. Just select this one.
over so we're getting a straight wall and it looks like we also need to move all of these to minus 100 I think we just mo need to move this one to minus 100 on the y-axis let's have a look yeah everything else seems to be fine so let's switch everything else back on and switch off solo mode Add a floor. I'll move this down to the bottom of the panel. Give it a white material. And there we go, that is our finished sci fi floor panel. Let's do a quick cell render. And I think this has turned out quite nicely. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again soon.